Hi, my name is Diana Estrada and I'm with Silicon Valley Latino and I'm here with Carlos Hurtado. Welcome, Carlos. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to have you here on our magazine show. Um, Carlos, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background and what you do. Sure. My name is Carlos Hurtado and I was actually born in Guadalajara, Mexico, and I immigrated to the Bay Area here in San Jose, California when I was three years old. I actually went to high school in San Jose, graduated from Lincoln High, and also attended Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo, where I majored in aerospace engineering. And I uh, graduated in 2007, and I've been working at Lockheed Martin Space Systems Company in Sunnyvale, California. My current title is rocket scientist, and I'm actually working on designing a solid rocket motor propulsion system for the next missile defense system for Lockheed Martin. Tell us a little bit about, like, what got you interested in, would it be math and the sciences? Yes, it would be. Um, I got really interested in math, science, and engineering at a very young age. Uh, when other, my other friends and other uh, students were interested in music television in the latest fashion, I was actually at home watching the Discovery Channel, <laughs> learning about satellites and missiles and airplanes, and all of that seemed really interesting to me. I was really interested in a lot of high tech, a lot of airplanes, a lot of military aircraft, and that passion really turned into my career. Amazing. So do your parents have a background in math? Did they, how did they prepare you? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Actually, my mom had me at a very young age. She was only 18 years old when I was born, so she wasn't able to go to college. She, when we immigrated here when I was three years old from Mexico, my mom actually couldn't help me at all with my homework since I think third grade. So unfortunately, she wasn't able to help me with my homework, she, but she always told me, Carlos, you need to study. You need to go on to school, get an education so you can have a very good job and career, so you can have a very, a very better life, so you can go ahead and grow up and do something that you want to do. Don't do what I did. I actually only make minimum wage, and I'm not very happy with my job. Carlos, I want you to go out there, do your best, and do what you really want to do. My mom, she actually raised my younger sister and I by herself. So it was just my mom working, my father was not in the picture, but that actually motivated me more because I realized my mom can do such a very hard task all by herself. So if she can do it, I can do anything too. That's amazing, that's beautiful. And so what, is your mom here? Yes. Yeah, she's here. And what does she say about you being a rocket scientist? She loves to brag to all of her friends and family about it. That's very <laughs> sweet. That's very sweet. So, um, so what would you? What message would you have to share? Would you have uh, that you want to share with our uh, Silicon Valley uh, audience? Sure. I would like to tell them that you can do anything you really have your heart set to. I knew when I was very young, about six years old, that I wanted to be an engineer. I set that goal very high and realized I need to set a plan. So I really recommend everybody set a plan, what it is that you want to do. It doesn't matter what you want to do, whether it's engineering, teaching, artist, musician, it doesn't matter. Set a plan, realize what steps you need to take to achieve that plan and do it. And don't let anybody tell you you cannot do it. The first key would be to definitely find somebody that can help you achieve your dreams, whether that's a mentor, a relative, a friend. There's a lot of agencies that help out like Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Boy Scouts is another good option where you can meet somebody that can actually help you attain your goals. My second um, recommendation would be to figure out exactly what you need to do to get to that, whether it's a college degree, a professional experience, whatever it is, make sure you understand how to do it. And if you don't know how to do that, just go online and start with the simple search on a Google or Bing, and that actually has a lot of good resources online that you can utilize. And three would be to make sure you surround yourself with the uh, appropriate people people that have a positive thinking. Don't associate with yourself, especially if you have friends that really don't care about their education, really don't care for a community or society. Alienate yourselves from those folks and make sure you learn and meet people from or learn from people that can actually help you achieve your dreams. I'd really recommend actually realizing that there is no gender issue. Just because you're a female doesn't mean you can do anything that a guy can do. In fact, I've actually learned from my experiences, women actually do everything better than males do, especially in engineering, math, and sciences. So if that's really your passion, don't let gender differences 
prevent you from achieving your goal. I love it. Well, it's a pleasure to have you and es un orgullo tenerte um, for Silicon Valley Latino. So great to meet you.